this early days with iOS and at the moment there is no way to stream audio between every single app. So you need to get a workaround. So in this series of videos, we're gonna be taking a look at a variety of different apps that you can use on the move to create your ideas and then to bring back into the studio for actually mixing down and turning into a proper tune. The quality of the actual sounds in a lot of these apps is good enough, so it's worth exploring as a, a new means of composition. So let's take a look this week at using the iMachine app from Native Instruments. This is iMachine and I've got this set up just at the moment with the default setting and I've basically started from scratch. You just push the button up here, the top left and you say new. Now I'm gonna come back here just to show you, see the expansion store. This is a great way to get new sounds. So this is new drum kits and they're really nicely priced. You can see this. There's a few that I've bought here for 69p each go. And you can just click on these and get some information about it and also listen to an example tune using the sounds. So it's a really nice way to expand on the library of sounds. That's not to say that the default library isn't any good because it's great, but just want to give yourselves a bit more scope. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set my tempo. Just click on the tempo up here and we can just drag here. I think I'm going to go for something maybe about 123. Now this means that I want to get my Ableton project the same tempo. I'm going to double click up here, 123, because that's going to matter. When we're recording in, it's good to get the tempo synchronized. There's not going to be a direct link between the two. You'll see how I work with it fairly soon. So that's the tempo organized. Now let's load up a drum kit. You can see that we've basically got these groups. These are what you would say are the kits. Okay, they can be musical or they could be beats. And we're focusing on beats here. So on the first one, that's the kit that's loaded. It's not bad. Some good sounds there for sure. But the sort of thing that I've got in mind, I'm gonna do something a bit different. So. Let's take a look at loading a kit. Come down to the magnifying glass here and you've got some choices. So you can see how these are organized according to the libraries. You can see dark pressure here and iMachine library. If we come back, you've got the categories of kits. So electronic kits, this is probably the one that I'm gonna go for to be honest. Let me check out some of these new ones. So yeah, I'm quite liking the textures here. Remember, you can actually combine kits, so we could have you know, one kit laid with another. Just gonna put, okay, yeah, I like the little bit of noise at the end of that kick, so I think I'm gonna use that. There may be something along those kind of lines, so I'm gonna show you how we can get recording. We push record up here, and then we get a count in, and then we can actually get a beat down. So let me just show you with that little vibe I had there. So I pushed record again to come out of the record mode and you can see it's looped nicely here. So we can build up layer by layer. So something like that could be good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the shorter one over here. Here we go. So we're building up the beats layer by layer. Gonna drop that in. And that was pure fluke in terms of that working. I actually like where the way that actually sounded. So let's get that again. Wow, some pretty heavyweight effects there. So like that. And imagine, of course, you could be anywhere doing this. This is a great thing. You know, I'm making beats when I'm on the move, getting these locked down and then transferring them into Ableton or another DAW. So this is a great vibe. Okay, what I'm gonna do is move to another group. So this is gonna be, this is basically another kit. I'm gonna open up, let's try another one from this collection. So I like that, it's got an 808 closed hat kind of vibe. Let's go. You 
And you can see you can do multiple bars here, but it will automatically know if I only did one. Now I'm feeling that's a bit loud, so I've got to click on here. Let's bring the gain down. So we're going to just adjust that and the panning. Maybe just over to the left a little bit. What else have we got? I like that. So something else that's good is the repeat. Let me find a good sound. Maybe this just to demonstrate the concept. So the note repeat. Now, if you're not particularly good at playing fills in time, that particular option is a real godsend, so you could record that in. So, this is a concept. You build up your beats layer by layer, and what I'll do is I'll transfer those through into Ableton on the next section. So we're gonna record it into Ableton now. If you've seen my previous video, Making Music with Apps Part Two on the Point Blank YouTube channel, you'll be familiar with what I'm about to do. So we have an audio track here. I'm gonna rename this to iMachine. And what we're gonna do is record a clip into this. But in order to do that, we need to make sure that Record Enable is on down here. So we'll get some signal coming through now. You can see that. Make sure the level's not too hot. You don't want it to be clipping on the way in, so that's looking good. What I'm gonna do is get this recording here. Remember I said about the transport, so 123 up here. Make sure that that's sorted out, same as the tempo on the iPad. And then here we go, gonna record in. Gonna double click so we can see when it happens, and then just push play whenever you want. You can see the waveform coming through. It's only one bar, this programming here, so I don't really need to have it recording any further so I've stopped that and what we do is we zoom in we find the first beat we right click on this transient marker and then go to set 1.1.1 here so that's the first beat in the bar now let's get the loop brace and drag it over and of course we only need one bar so let's take it to two let's take a listen and the click so it's all synced, everything's nice and tidy. You might want to right click on here and set this up, say crop clips. It's literally just that audio clip now, nice and tidy. So that's the whole concept here. You know, we're recording into our DAW from the actual iPad. In the next episode, we'll be taking a look at Beatmaker 2 and seeing the extra possibilities that we can get by using this other application for composition. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.